Hi, everybody. This is Crypto Rich working with you to get rich with crypto, filling our pockets with crypto profits. I have me with me one of the team from one of the top 100 platform protocol projects. We're going to be digging into this project and finding out what's happening with this. Take the first step towards online privacy. Get NordVPN. Apollo have produced the ultimate hardware wallet for your cryptocurrency assets. Probably the most secure hardware wallet going. Use my affiliate link and the code for a discount. Please follow me on Twitter and join my official Telegram announcements channel. Also, please follow me on BitTube.video. You can also follow me on Odyssey. These are both censorship resistant platforms. And every now and then I am going to post a video which isn't going to be on YouTube. Hey, Blaze, thank you so much for making yourself available. Yeah, glad to be here with you. Thank you. You are one of the team at Near Protocol. Yes? Well, I'm one of the contributors in the Near Protocol ecosystem, uh, but not on the direct team. Yep. I, I got it. I got it. it. It does seem to have a very strong community. Yeah, it's got a kind of a bus, bustling community right now that's growing every day. And I like to always say that the Nearverse is expanding faster than I can keep track of or see now. So it's really growing. Right. And when did you get involved with Near Protocol? So I found Near Protocol through a Google News article about a year and a half ago, and uh, I was in crypto, already involved and looking for a project really to stand behind. And when I found uh, Near, I thought to myself, this is the next Google. So I immediately got really engaged with it, do dove in head first, and this is where I've been uh, since, really a contractor uh, uh, with Near, so working through several projects for them. Okay, and what was it about Near that you were like, oh my God, this is the next Google? It makes it so yeah, good. so you always look for the ingredients of user interface. What can users easily adopt? Is it an idea that people can understand? Is it being presented in a way for adoption? And I really thought because I come from a, a Web two development, you know, uh, background. So when I looked at Near, I thought, okay, well, existing web app developers could actually gravitate towards this platform and learn how to use it. And it was one of the easier ones to kind of grasp out there. Um, among the blockchain technologies. And how come? What makes Near so easy? So they created something called assembly script and it's kind of like TypeScript. So if people are familiar with, you know, TypeScript and JavaScript, they've got kind of an engine that you can get in, integrated with Near uh, using assembly script. They also have Rust, which is really the main programming language behind Near, but they've, uh, you know, created this assembly script layer and have supported that so that Web2 developers could migrate over. Right. Okay. So, and uh, no, Rust is a language that's used in regular computer programming in the non-blockchain world. So then yeah. someone doesn't need to go and learn. Somebody wants to work with Near Protocol and they're a programmer. They don't need to go and learn Solidity like they would need to do to work, build applications on Ethereum. They're already familiar with Rust. They can build on Near. Correct. Exactly. Yeah. I'm not at all techie, by the way, as, as yeah. you know, from check, <laughs> but I've been around the crypto space for a while. OK. All right. And in terms of NIR's characteristics, you know, like the block times and all that other business, can you tell us a bit about it? Yeah. So NIR is uh, actually very fast. They have a one second block time. So blocks are produced every second in the chain and then blocks are validated within three to four seconds. So uh, you know, you have validation very quick and consensus happening. It's also a sharded blockchain. So it's really equivalent to what ETH2 is becoming, but it's already in existence. So uh, it has a lot of the characteristics of ETH2 uh, with the sharding technology and the ability to expand through multiple shards and things like that. But uh, actually, there's a big update coming out this next month that it's going to go from one shard to eight shards and then kind of keep going from there. So we've got some of those E2 pieces already that are going out. And it's a good also uh, kind of L2 roll up uh, for ETH2. It has something called Aurora, which is, which is its own L2 blockchain. And uh, so they're partnering with, I think Etherscan is one of the ones that is coming online along with several other uh, apps in the future here, so. Okay, and I imagine the layer two would make it even faster as would the eight shards yeah, so the eight shards is going to increase the block speed, and then they have a layer two that's going to make so people can take their existing Solidity app and just port it over to Near and run on Aurora without any changes. Right. Okay. Well, uh, and is it a fork of Ethereum, or any other, or its own 
from nothing. Yeah, to it, it's, it's its own brand new blockchain that's been in development, I guess, over the next over the last three years to five years. So, uh, yeah, no, it's its own blockchain built from the ground up on Rust. And um, proof of stake? Proof of stake blockchain, yeah. What about the funding? Was there an ICO or is it a community project? Yeah, so they had uh, actually a lot of uh, big backers, you know, um, in the early days, they had investment rounds. And so Anderson Horowitz was one, Coinbase was another. So there's a lot of backers. And then they did have an ICO uh, over just a little over a year ago as well that people uh, participated in. Okay. All right. Well, listen, I have, a, I have a question for you. How come NIA Protocol hasn't caught the headlines the way Cardano or Polkadot or um, let me some of some of the other ones yeah you know because uh, what sorry let me just say when i was approached by one of the community at near protocol i thought okay, well I've, I've seen it i've seen it and i was like oh it's in the top 100 so so what is it about that it has all these great features as you say and you are of course a fan and a community yeah. member so how come so I think the biggest thing is with Near is that the marketing piece hasn't really kicked in yet. So from a marketing perspective, we, the the team and the, the organization overall hasn't been marketing Near real heavily. And the reason for that is they wanted to get some fundamental pieces in place to make sure that everything was ready. It's only a year old. It's a year old on mainnet this year. And they wanted to make sure that there wasn't uh, scaling issues and all of these things. You see some of these other chains. So, you know, it's been more of a little bit of a grow the community grow it over time. And then once Aurora is in place, once we have the additional shards in place, some of those things, I think you'll see the marketing come on strong within the next year or okay. near. Which personally, I think is a much smarter um, way of doing it versus, hey, we got a load of money. Here's some vapor. Rah, rah, rah. Let's yeah, exactly. Right. I got it. Okay. So you've actually built some stuff. So, so what sort of stuff has been built on near and is being built on near? Yeah, so right now on the, the native blockchain, uh, there's some different apps. One of them is called Refinance, which is basically a near native AMM. So you can go there and swap tokens. They just launched a yield farm recently. So that's also out there now. Uh, we've got, uh, which I'm part of the development team behind Cheddar. Cheddar is a loyalty token on near protocol. And we also have a yield farm. So we're actually letting folks farm for free right now for about one more day. And then that's going to close down. But people have been farming free cheddar on there. And uh, then we're going to roll out some additional pools in the coming weeks there. And uh, lots of things under development, though. Yeah. OK. And just just for people to notice, if you're watching this video, we're recording this on Monday, the 11th of October. So by the time this video goes out, the, the farming on cheddar, cheddar dot farm will have stopped. Yes, that's correct. All right, thank you. So um, why would somebody use an application on Near versus one on some of the other platform protocols? So one of the things about Near is the user onboarding experience. Most of it goes through the wallet. So the Near wallet is kind of the doorway into the Near ecosystem. And uh, you know, for non-crypto type folks, they've said the Near wallet is a great experience to kind of engage and get going with crypto. And that's really the goal. One of the goals behind Near is the UX to make the user experience very easy and seamless for the general population to then come into blockchain and begin to use it. So that's one one. It, uh, item. Obviously, the other item is one second block time. It's lightning fast. Uh, near protocol is transaction fees are a fraction of a penny. So and that scales out over time through shards. So uh, it's going to be something that's going to be fast. It's going to be scalable. It's going to be very cost effective. OK, yeah. no, that's pretty good. I'm, I'm interested in the wallet. I haven't looked at the wallet. I do have some near, but it's in my uh, crypto.com. Um, yeah. Account, right. OK, so I need to check out the near wallet. And, and by the way, anybody who's watching this, I didn't explain a video on Nier, which uh, you can find in my Nier playlist. You can go and check that out and uh, learn a bit more about this. OK, now what about interoperability with other chains? Are there, are there bridges being built or anything like that if people want to port over from Binance Smart Chain or Ethereum? Yeah, that's a great uh, point. Uh, there's already a rainbow bridge to Ethereum. So uh, it's called the Rainbow Bridge. It's the only trustless bridge out there that is at the level uh, that it is, the level of complexity. So some of the bridges, quite a few of them are ran by a centralized organization. This one is trust trustless and very decentralized. So that's 
already in place and people have been moving funds over to near through that. Uh, I believe that a BSC uh, bridge is in work, but it's not there quite yet, but I've heard that it's it's in progress. So yeah. Right, okay. So, and and the, the DEX, the near DEX is near dot finance. Uh, right? It's a ref dot finance. Yeah, ref dot finance. Yeah, ref the, dot finance. Yeah. I shall link to that and yeah. all the other links in in um, all the other relevant links in the description below the video. Um, and what about the other other DAPs? Is there any particular DAP you want to talk about? You want to let us know what's coming up, but that people should be excited about? I mean, there are a lot of D apps in development. Nothing that I can think of right now. Obviously, I'm behind Cheddar Farm or one of the devs, so that's what I'm passionate about. And Really, our goal with Cheddar is to really promote other dApps on the near ecosystem. So there's a lot of games launching. There's a lot of other things launching. And what we're going to do is help them and promote them through Cheddar. So with Cheddar, you'll be able to use that either as a payment, a discount, or a power-up with other dApps in the near ecosystem. So we've got three farms on testnet right now that we're working the kinks out of. So we're gonna support Refinance, which is the AMM on near the near native AMM. We're gonna support ST near and what ST near is, it's through Metapool. It gives you the ability to liquid stake your near. So instead of putting your near in a validator and waiting the normal three days to unstake and get your near back, you can liquid stake it. And right now they're giving dual rewards. They have their own token called Meta. So, and then if you need your near, you can sell that kind of for a cost and get it back immediately. And then the last one is Banana. It's one of the first games on <laughs> near was called Berry Club, a drawing app. And so there've been a lot of bananas farmed over time. So we're gonna support them as well. <laughs> I, I like bananas. I do like, I prefer bananas yeah. to, to cheddar. No don't mean to be bad about cheddar. Yeah. I'll have both, but I like bananas. Okay, yeah. very cool. Very cool. All right. And then uh, on my channel, one of the things that I cover a lot is um, privacy coins. Now, are there any privacy focused applications being developed on the near blockchain? Yeah. So I think they just announced a partnership recently where they're looking to bring privacy chains to uh, near protocol. So we have this sharding concept. So you'll be able to have a privacy shard. And uh, so that's something that's going to be coming out. So you can have an encrypted shard, your own encrypted private shard, if you will. Oh, oh, that's it. And what, what's the advantages of that? Uh, basically, it means so, you know, uh, with near, you know, near out of the box, you're basically on the same blockchain as everyone else, right? But you'll be able to take your own shard and make it your own private blockchain and have that encrypted. So that's what they're looking to do. So it's essentially a private network, a private blockchain, if you will. Okay, very good, very good. Well, I should watch out for that. Thank you, thank you. If, if anything in particular you want to let us know about or talk about or cover that we haven't covered? The only thing we've got coming up is, uh, you know, uh, here- now, Hold on, November. hold on. You yep. can't get away with that. You've got lots of things cover coming up, I bet, yeah. right? But, the, but there's yeah. one thing you're going to talk about, okay? Yeah, I'm saying, yeah, the biggest thing coming up is is the moving to eight shards. So with that, we're looking to expand the validator set. So we've got about 100 seats on the near validator set, and we're looking to add an additional 40 validators uh, out there. So that's going to be a big change that's coming as we work to decentralize even further. Um, and then NearCon's coming up this month as well. So the first annual near conference is coming up uh, in Lisbon, is Portugal. Is that online? So is that going to be online or? Yeah, it'll be virtual and physical both. Yeah. Okay. And when is that? That is October 24th, I believe. Yeah. yeah this video will be out before that. Great. Okay. And then okay. again, I'll have the links in the description below so people can find out, you know, maybe join the Telegram group. And the sharding, splitting to eight shards, when will that happen? Yeah. So that's slated to happen this December. So just really quick here, we'll be migrating towards that. It goes on to testnet pretty soon and then it'll be going on to mainnet in December. Right. Okay. And is there anything people need to do? Nothing needs to be done by the user base. Now, just if you're looking to become a validator on the year, there might be some opportunity to then, you know, become one of those. So. And is there a minimum number of near coins you need to have to become a validator? Yeah, there is a minimum and that seat price is coming down today. That's about 3 million near. But uh, with the additional eight shards, uh, the lowest seat price of the 100 seats, if the lowest seat price is somebody, the lowest amount they have is 69,000 near, they'll be accepted uh, as a validator. But it just depends on how much people actually stake to those validators. But yeah, it, it will be coming down, I think, quite significantly.
<laughs> after a while. And, I, and, and looking at the size of your Telegram channel, I bet there's enough people who'd be up for being validators. Yeah, I think there's starting to get to be a lot of, uh, you know, energy around that, people acquiring and joining. Uh, yeah, so. Okay, all right. Is there anything else you want to let us know, Blaze? Not at this time. I mean, there's a lot going on in the near metaverse, but I think those are the highlights at this point. All right, well, listen, thank you so much for coming. And also, thank you so much at such short notice as well. I really, really do appreciate it. And for yeah. anyone watching, you know, let, let me know, do you hold near? What do you see as the prospect of NIR? What's so great about NIR? And whether you hold NIR or not, give me the ticker symbol, N-E-A-R, because all those comments help my channel grow. As you may not know that I'm be I've been shadow banned for many, many years now, and the comments still do help fight chat shadow ban. If you're watching this on YouTube, come over and watch it on Odyssey or BitTube, which are censors at resistant platforms. Please join my Telegram announcements channel so you can keep up to date with all the work, with all the videos that I post and occasionally a little odd news item do check out near protocol because they've got the product there it's you know from what you said blaze they're ahead of the game in terms of the development ahead of the game for ethereum you know ethereum has got millions and billions and trillions of applications but they're slow and expensive and you know i wanted to use a a particular dap on ethereum and I was going to use, I was going to put in a thousand dollars. And then I look at the gas fees. I'm like, oh my God, I need to find, I need to put in 2000 just to cover. Any, so I make sufficient gains to cover the gas fees, $40, $50 a time or something. And that's, a, that's pretty low compared to how high they have been. And this is yeah. after their, um, the launch of the, the London, was it the London upgrade? Yeah, the London upgrade. Yeah. 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 It's already getting, it's stabilizing, but it's still can be high at times. Oh, it's so. painful. It's painful, yeah. especially when there's platforms like Near Protocol, which where the gas fees are just pennies or something and much, much faster yeah. as well. But anyway, anyway, have a look at Near Protocol if you haven't already. Do check it out. You'll find the links in the description below. Please do subscribe, comment, like. And between now and when I see you next, and I'm really looking forward to saying this, right? Please, I'm going to say his name. Please keep filling your pockets with crypto profits. This is Crypto Rich and Crypto Blaze signing out. All the best. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.